Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT and Happy Pride. This is what you're getting today. So I looked at my Twitter a little bit earlier and thought, wow, there's just too much of a chance that Konami might actually give me the Dark World support. Let's fix that. So today we're going to be wondering what are the gayest Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Now, the bar to beat is Eldritch the Golden Lord. I'm not trying to say anything, but... As far as I can tell, this is the absolute gayest card I've ever seen in my entire life. They name each other in their card effects, their nuns, their magical girls. If what you read is Yori, then you know these bitches lesbians. Good for them. Good for them. We've got Rain Bow, the overlord of Dark World. Man, I can't wait for him to get the retrain in the new Dark World structure deck coming out when Konami gives me the new Dark World structure deck to world premiere. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Rainbow Neos is not gay, all right? He is just the literal physical embodiment of Jesse and Jaden's friendship. <laughs> Guys, if your friendship looks like this, you gotta have a frank discussion with your friend. Amazement Administrator Arlecchino, I'm pretty sure is gay, but he could also be like YouTube straight. You know what I mean? Like they paint their nails and they, they're kind of flamboyant, but you know, they have a really sordid past that's gonna come out after they get 200K subs on YouTube. Don't look any deeper into this one, folks. Full rainbow, literally spitting rainbows. The, the way I can tell that this card is gay is that it was revealed and then did not get enough attention. So it revealed itself four more times before and after coming out of the closet. <laughs> Wait, is this the same guy? Sun Avalon dry ass. I mean, if your ass is dry, Rainbow and Aurora are married to each other and moms to all the other weathers. We're never getting red because Rainbow had her bottom surgery before they could have the last kid. No, they can adopt. We're getting red. We are getting red. We're getting red. I has cards in his deck that in Japanese are named after the ship name for him and the protagonist, UI, a pun on I love you, and named after a song about loving someone who died tragically. Alas, this one is not real yet. And I really is the gayest antagonist. And this is a series that has Bakura in it. I'm what's known as a gay- This girl is obsessed with a female knight, stays up all day to create intricate traps, and is disappointed when other people that aren't the knight try to brave them. She hangs out in a shitty hoodie until the girl shows up and she doesn't leave her house. I mean, this isn't really gay representation. This is like unrequited obsession representation. This is Twitch chat representation. The Lightsworn archetype is gay as hell. Jane is a butch lesbian or a twink, depending on interpretation. If only we had the list. Wolf and Garroth are bara gay men. I don't know what that means. Celestia is a mommy GF, and Arcus has internalized homophobia and views himself as monstrous, hence the typing. <laughs> Finally, listen, it's time for me to come clean. I appreciate all of the nice, you know, MLM solidarity that we get during Pride Month, but we never have, you know, the gay solidarity that really speaks to me. I'm talking about two fat losers who sit on the couch watching TV all day. And I'm happy that they finally printed potato and chips for that reason. You and Danny wide people happy? <laughs> Kinda. The Mech Knights are a metaphor for the pride flag. Guy who's only seen one rainbow in his life seeing his second rainbow? Hmm, this is giving me rainbow vibes. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gay. I think he's some kind of gremlin. Oh, I might be wrong. I'm still hesitant to call them gay because I don't know if they're sisters or not. Uh, they are gay. They're, they're not sisters. People saying they're literally twins. Twins is the name of their VTuber thing. The other, Trouble Sunny is also twins, and one of them's four feet taller than the other. I, again, great representation. Ugly gays. Where, where is our Netflix original series about two disgusting, unfuckable gremlins who run around causing mischief and eating treats? Mellow Madonna, I don't know if she is LGBT, but she's definitely problematic. Aluber did all that because he was trying to fuck Albaz for real and immediately under. His entire thing is trying to fuse with the dude. What more can I say? This is, by the way, the straightest theater kid. Can't explain this one. I just like him. <laughs> I just think they're neat. The Blahage archetype. Yeah, see, I, I would have my doubts, but the blonde mane is really kind of uh, the, the tipper for me. Harmonizer Grady L is a perfect example of an LGBT character uh, because until the NR format, um, I did not know she existed. Oh. Congrats to Variety. You know, many people say they didn't know, but uh, 
I knew. They are dating. They're not dating. They're the same guy. Literally the same guy. <laughs> Yubel probably belongs in the Pride Month video for like non-binary reasons, but I don't think they're gay. I just think they're evil. Although I will say evil non-binaries is, is pretty much the target MBT audience. <laughs> I don't know if Neo Aquamador is gay, but you saying you're gay for Neo Aquamador, that's a different story. Why is he so cheeked up in the retrain? Holy shit. Pegasus is not gay. Oh my god. He literally tried to save his wife at the cost of his own life. He would never, like, fuck a dude by using his Millennium Eye to peer into their deepest desires and see that more than anything else, they didn't want to be a champion at a card game. They wanted to be dominated by the progenitor of duel monsters. Anyway, this is only gay if you fuck animals. I don't know if Dark is gay, but they are genderqueer. Oracle King, huh? Need me an Oracle King with fat titties. This card from Rush Duel is called Peking Magician. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm peeking at that magician. He looks like every third guy on Grinder, complete with the total lack of ass. Mr. Hill, you have no ass. Legend says they were close enough to share the same bedroom. Yeah, I, they're holding hands in the art. There is no heterosexual way to summon Queen Madolce Tiramisu. Why you overlaying two monsters, huh? Wait, I had never seen this fourth one. Three-legged zombies, into Unizombie, into Unisong tuning, into... That is so cute. What is this card? This is a rush card? Oh my goodness. Good luck, Dyer. Let's see if we can not get demonetized. So now, the, the important question is, which Yu-Gi-Oh card would absolutely hate LGBTQ people, but change their icon to rainbow during Pride Month? Also Eldlich, probably true. Yeah, probably true. Eldlich is the uh, Raytheon LGBTQ caucus of <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh.